Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at a line of fishing rod holders by Sea Sucker. These are going to be the Pro Series. It's going to come in a couple different quantities, whether you're looking to carry just one, two, or three poles. We've got them all scattered out throughout the boat today, so let's take a closer look at them. We've all been there whenever we got a lot of people on the boat, and everybody's got their rods laying all over the place. They get stepped on, they get tangled up. And this is just a solid way to keep them up and off the ground, keep them organized. So if you just take a break while you're cruising to the next spot, or if you just want to bait your hooks, change out your lures, whatever you want to do, this is a good way to keep them in place. So if you take a closer look, this is what separates Sea Sucker from a lot of the other brands. It's these vacuum mounts. Sea Sucker has a lot of different things that you can use vacuum mounts for, whether it's marine applications like this, or the bike racks that they have, or even roof racks. But you want to make sure that you're putting this on something that's hard and not porous so it really sticks to it. And I'm sure you're thinking, what's a vacuum mount going to do? That's not going to hold up very long. But these actually have really good strength to them as long as you put them on there properly. I mean, I am shaking this whole console right here. But let's just show you how we got this put on. You want to make sure that it's nice and clean. If you're using this in a saltwater application, make sure that when you move it around that you kind of rinse it off with some fresh water. Just put it on there, apply a little pressure, and pump that down there. And you'll see that orange will start to disappear. And then we've got that nice and tight. And when it comes to loading these up, you just stick your rod down in there. And you can see if you've got a longer one like this, you can pull these pins out. They just have a little ball right there that has some pressure behind it and just pull it through and can put that down there and that has a much more secure way of keeping that down in there but the cool thing about if you do pull those pins is they have these little slots on top that you can store those in and then we just saved a ton of space got our rods up off the ground now we can get back to just relaxing and hanging out and we don't have to worry about damaging our rods and here's the two pole version. I've got it on the front deck here. There's two chairs and this works out great. You could put that down in there. So this is a great location to have this up front because up on the front deck, you definitely don't want your poles laying around. But also I like that we can put you know, a net in there too. As long as it's not one that's super wide, we can still fit that down in there. So we can keep that up off the ground keep the deck clear so we can kind of move around a little bit. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements to just give you a better idea if this is going to work out for you. Now regardless if you get the one, the two, or the three version, a couple of measurements are going to be the same. And that is the overall height of each specific holder. And that is going to be eight inches. And the diameter on the inside, so if your rod is going to actually fit in there, is one and a half inches. That's a pretty significant size, but you know, you may run into some issues if you have one that's a little bit larger. And then this measurement right here is 15 sixteenths of an inch. So that's something to be mindful of. And then I'm going to give you a measurement on the back end there too. And that is 9 sixteenths of an inch. Now when it comes to the size of the actual vacuum mount, that will vary a little bit. So the two and the three version are going to have a vacuum size of six inches, where the one rod holder is going to have a measurement of four and three quarters of an inch. So not a huge difference, but if you have smaller spaces, that is something to be mindful of so you can make sure that that's gonna fit. One thing I do like about these is it allows you to have some flexible options on where you're putting them. But with this boat in particular, I found it challenging to find spots to put multiple on here. I mean, maybe you don't need as many as we have here today, but this was a good spot, but I put it down here and it initially held on tight, but just sitting here for about half an hour and it's already loose and you can see how easy that popped off. So this has a little bit of a textured finish on it. So that's a good example of why you shouldn't put it on that type. It looked like it was fine, but then over time, it just eventually came loose. So we're gonna find a little bit better option for this one. But I just wanted to show you guys that these do need to have a nice smooth finish in order for them to go on there. So if you don't have a lot of options that are smooth like we have here, 
Um, you might want to look into something that has more of a clamp style that can clamp to some rails. Um, but you know, if you're not having a pontoon boat, if you're using another style boat, you may run into some issues with that as well. When it comes to how you mount this, it is intended to be mounted vertically. We do offer horizontal style mounts if you're looking for something like that, but this one in particular is definitely intended to be mounted vertically. When it comes to the actual part that holds your rod, that's made of a really durable plastic. There's a tiny bit of give up top, but that's expected there. I think it's gonna hold up for a long time. And when it comes to the life of this, if you're going to leave this on your boat, we recommend not keeping it out in the sun. So if you have a dock that doesn't have a roof on it, I would take these off, store them out. That's more so to keep from damaging the actual vacuum mount because that's made of a, a pretty solid rubber. But over time, if that UV ray was constantly hitting it, I think you could see some deterioration. But if you've got a covered dock, you should be fine. Definitely check that it's still sealed good whenever you get ready to go out. I'd hate for this to have a bunch of rods on it and you're going down the lake and it falls off and maybe hits a kid or something, that'd be pretty bad. So definitely check that that's tight before you go out on every trip. Now, a couple of quick tips on just properly maintaining it also is in between uses, it's not a bad idea to clean it with fresh water. Don't use any harsh solvents or scrub it by any means. I think you could just use some water, wipe it off and you'll be just fine. And then if you've noticed that it's not sealing that well, you can pop the plunger out there and just pulls out. It's got a little pressure behind it. And you can clean this off right here. You can add a little bit of the lubricant that comes with it. Make sure it's all clean in there and you can just insert that back. And then you're set and ready to go. Overall guys, if you're looking to keep your rods organized, we've all been there where they've fallen over, we've damaged them, somebody stepped on it. This is a good way to keep them up off the ground. I like that it's not a permanent installation. I don't have to drill into my boat. I can move it all around wherever I need it to fit my needs. And I like that it comes in a one, a two, and a three rod version. And I get it. I was skeptical to the vacuum mount at first too, but we've used them enough on boats, on cars. If you mount that to a nice clean surface, they hold up for a while, but definitely check that you have a good seal whenever you're using these. And overall, I think you're gonna be pretty happy with them. But that's going to do it for our look at the Sea Sucker Pro Series rod holders.